Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the PBP series. So the pregnancy, birth and postnatal series with me, Alex. I'm just a mum talking about my own very recent experience of being pregnant, giving birth and my current postnatal period during a pandemic. So it's a very different time right now for those of us who are, you know, adjusting to being new mums during this time. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you never miss one of these videos. They come out every Tuesday and Friday, just in case you were wondering when they do at 5 p.m. So make sure that you never miss one of those. Right, I'm gonna get back into the second trimester. I've already done a video beforehand on the first trimester. I will link it somewhere on the screen so that you can go back and watch the first one if you missed that. So these are some additional tips to help you survive the second trimester or just kind of allow you to know what happens and one of the first things that happens in this trimester is you notice that your breasts get larger right so for me in the second trimester all of a sudden I jumped up a couple of bra sizes and that wasn't even the end of it it wasn't until right until the end of my pregnancy that I, I saw the the full extent of how many bra sizes I went up. I think in total I went up four bra sizes. So I wouldn't advise you to go ahead and start buying maternity bras at this point because they may be a waste of money for you. They were for me. I suggest you wait until near the end of your pregnancy before you buy those. And they're so comfortable, like maternity bras, I don't know if I'm gonna to return to normal bras afterwards, but they definitely are very comfortable, nice, soft, and yeah, you can get loads of them from Amazon and other places as well. But Amazon isn't so expensive. Other places tend to kind of hike up the prices. So definitely shop around and look for, for those when you're ready. The next thing that you're also going to notice during this trimester is that your hair will probably be thicker, fuller and shinier as well. So that's one of the perks of pregnancy. I will get into my postpartum shedding video another day because make sure that you enjoy this period now during pregnancy where your hair is lovely and thick and full and showcase it because afterwards for me my shedding was like i said i'll save that for another video so definitely that's something else to look out for avoid raw meat so if you are a sushi samba and you love all that kind of raw uncooked undercooked meat these are things that you're going to need to just put on pause for now you know say goodbye to raw salmon and all those things all of your meats need to be thoroughly cooked and also you have to avoid i think treated meats as well so the kind of processed meats like uh, salami and frankfurters as well i don't think they're you're allowed to eat those either so those are things i hope that you don't crave those things during your pregnancy because i can imagine that would be a very very difficult thing for you and you don't actually get given this information until you go for your first appointment with the midwife so it's important for you to to know it beforehand probably if you're watching this video and you're in a second trimester you've already had that appointment which is great so it's a good thing to know to stop eating those things now you may also get darker in the face at this point so it's called the mask of pregnancy so if you don't get darker then you may get little freckles or little dark patches that appear on your face it's just one of those things that are associated with pregnancy it will go away after you give birth i noticed different parts of my body get darker when I was pregnant and now I'm not pregnant anymore you know a lot of these places have returned back to their original color I, I, I do looking back at pictures of me when I was pregnant I did notice that I was darker than I am now so it will go away after you give birth eventually at some point point. and last but not least welcome to round ligament pains so these are pains in the side of your belly and because your belly is growing because obviously you're hiring a baby or babies and they need lots and lots of room you are going to start to get pains on the side of your belly so they are they're not particularly you know they're not going to cause you a lot of distress but i noticed them quite a lot in the night or when i wasn't really doing anything when i was active i didn't notice any round ligament pain i'm sure i still had them but it was when i was resting that's when i realized that i had them and again like i said it's just because you are stretching to accommodate your new addition to the family so 
Guys, if you haven't already, like I said, make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss one of these videos. They're out every Tuesday and Friday at 5 p.m. And make sure that you like, comment down below, let me know what this process has been like for you, if you've already been through it. If you are pregnant right now, congratulations. And share this video with other pregnant mums and dads as well so that they can be well informed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.